Hi, Bruce in the Greenhouse, greenhouses.com. Today, Greenhouse 101. You know, you're looking through our website, you're reading all about sidewalls, roof pitch, frame, venting. You're wondering, what the heck are they talking about? Let me show you. This greenhouse here has a pretty high sidewall. It's that vertical run that we've got here. The taller it is, the taller the roof is going to be in our greenhouse, and the easier it's going to be for us to work the entire width of the greenhouse. No scrunching down you know, when we're working along the sides. Now, up above us, we've got our roof here. Now, this roof is a pretty low pitch, not a very steep pitched roof. Now, that can be a problem if you don't have a real strong frame because it won't be able to shed snow. That's why a lot of our greenhouses, say, for instance, the sunshine greenhouses, have very steep roof pitches. They shed snow very easily. Now, this particular greenhouse has a very strong galvanized steel frame. Now, because of that, it's going to be able to handle the snow load. But, as with anything, there's some options when it comes to framing. Now, steel is expensive and it's very heavy. It's hard to build and it's hard to ship. So, a lot of people have been going to plastic frame greenhouses. And we carry a couple of those. And the things you need to watch out with those is if you're in a very hot climate, sun is not too kind to plastic, neither is very cold temps. Sun will kind of break it down and has a tendency sometimes to melt. So that's not good. Aluminum frames have long been the traditional greenhouse frame because it's lighter weight, doesn't rust, but it's very strong. So in a lot of the greenhouse lines, like Juliana, the Halls, Sunshine, I'm sorry, not Sunshine, Sunrise. I was close. Anyway, those use aluminum frames. And a lot of times they're not just a straight little piece of aluminum. They're kind of, you know, kind of have a cross being kind of built into them and they're very, you know, much stronger than what we're starting to see now, which is some very cheap, you know, inexpensive imports from China that don't use very strong frames. They're just a, a flat piece of aluminum and they're not very thick. And so they don't hold up as well. So you want to be careful. And if you have any questions, you know, if you're on the site looking to buy, there's an 800 number at the top of every page. Steve can, you know, help you pick out the greenhouse that'll be best for you and let you know which frames are the strongest. Now, the other thing we want to talk about is ventilation. You know, greenhouses, it can get very hot during the summer, and if you have plants in there, you will kill them. I'm very good at that. I can even kill cactus. So what we want to do is have good ventilation. Now, this particular greenhouse here, we've got an exhaust fan. That usually works off of a thermostat. And what happens is when the temperatures build up, that's going to kick on. There's going to be louvers that open up as the, as the fan kicks on, and it blows out the air. Now, that air is drawn in through these side windows. Now, a lot of greenhouses, some will have louvers, you know, side window louvers or back wall louvers down low, and those are usually used in conjunction with an exhaust fan or roof vents. Now, if you don't have power, you may just want to use roof vents. Uh, they're built in. It's just a vent. It's a panel that opens up, and you can either manually adjust it or you can just uh, put on an automatic vent opener. They kind of have a little adjustment on the bottom so that you can make it open at the temps you want it to open at. And as it, you know, as it gets warm, those will open up, breeze will blow through, and you get some ventilation without having power. Now, the other question we get a lot is flooring. What type of flooring? Now, this particular greenhouse here, we're talking a wood floor. Very nice floor. Some greenhouses, people put them down on concrete pads. Now, that works great because you can bolt your greenhouse frame right onto the concrete, and you don't have to use footings or stake it in. And, you know, greenhouse bases and um, how to attach them to the ground is another video. But um, other options besides wood or concrete would be gravel, brick, pavers, or just keeping it in the ground. And if you're going to do that, what you want to do, unless you just have this great soil in the you know, spot you put your greenhouse, is bring in some organic soil and till it in, mix it in, and you can grow right in the floor of your greenhouse. So there you go. Greenhouse 101. Thanks for watching.